Hey everybody, how's it going? Joe's Neon here. Just checking in. I thought I would take this opportunity to shoot a video and let you folks um, see and maybe understand what I'm using here for a home studio and the instruments that I'm including in the soundtracks for my videos. I'm having a tremendous amount of fun with that. And with that being said, folks, I cannot thank you enough for all of the kind, kind comments and the kind words about the music that I have been putting to my videos, my self-recorded music, and the support, and, and, and you folks have been just so kind. I really appreciate it a lot. That gives me a lot of inspiration to do more with um, this whole music thing. So I just wanted to share that with you, how that whole thing happens here in my world. Now, as I had mentioned to you folks in the past, I had gotten a USB interface for my computer. What that means is it's a little tiny control system where I can either plug in a microphone or I can plug in an electric amplified instrument into this interface box and it will transcribe that information into my USB into my computer that will go to a um, into a mixing board program you know it's technical I'm not technical so uh, this has taken me a lot to learn and to understand how all of this works you know but I'm having a lot of fun with it let me just give you a real quick look at what's going on here we go okay here's our USB interface all right, I got an XLR, which is a microphone that's plugged in right now, okay? Or I can use a quarter-inch jack. I've got inputs for two channels, and there's just some my, my monitor, my headphone output, just very simple um, adjustments here. I'm not going to get into the actual demographics of this interface, but it's a great one. The pro are, uh, ah, yeah, PreSonus. Great little system. I'm using a um, Shure Beta 58A for a microphone. Fantastic. My monitor headphones are an old pair of Yamahas. But here's what the studio looks like. You can see um, the levels reacting in the microphone as we speak right now, you know. It's, um, it's, 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 a, it's a nice little studio. And this is only one example. Of the studio. I can do multiple tracks. I've got multi. I can do. I can change the levels. I've got all of the effects I could possibly need. It's a lot of fun. But like I said, it's a technical thing, and man, you know that just kind of kind of sends me for a for a loop because I, I'm not a technical guy. So I, I got to constantly learn and understand how these how these programs work. So let's move on with it. What do I use when I'm making my recordings? All right, folks, stringed instruments. When you hear a six string guitar, this is what I'm using right now. I'm using the Samick. This is a beautiful, beautiful guitar. It's a hundred dollar guitar. I've got a $2,100 Takamani acoustic upstairs. And I just choose to use this and, 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 and mic it with a microphone and it sounds great. And I'll just play a little bit of that right now. You know, you can hear how great this guitar sounds, just might. You know, and I can do a little something here and there with the effects, but man, what a great sound. 
So I love the salmon for a six string, straight out acoustic. If I want to add a little bit of funk into it, some open tuning, some different slide work, I like to use this Fender Strat Acoustic. I got a tune to open D. It's really cool. I love it. See, this has got a fibroplastic back, much like a um, an applause or an ovation would have. It's got its built-in electronics. It's a really cool guitar. I don't even know if they made the they make these anymore. They made them for a couple years. And um, they're a lot of fun. They're great guitars, great electronics, and um, you'll hear that in some of my blues tuning uh, songs that I use. I'll put a little of that in right here. You can hear that. Strat acoustic. Yeah, I love that. Um, with that being said, moving on, um, there's, the, uh, there's the banjo. Yeah, I got a little bit of that in there. I just, I got a little bit of that in there. I just, I, I really love it. Yeah, there's something about the banjo that I just, absolutely love it irritates a lot of people but I absolutely love it so I'm including it in some of my tracks here and there um, it's an interesting instrument you either love it or you hate it but I happen to love it so I'm putting it I'm, I'm including it into uh, into some of my tracks for my videos behave yourself there son and then, of course, folks, come on, the Stratocaster. <whistles> deadly. Absolutely deadly. This is a weapon that I just love. I love my Stratocaster. This is not an American-made Stratocaster. This is a Tex-Mex Stratocaster. This Stratocaster was made in Mexico, and I am very proud to say that this Stratocaster is of the first year that they were made in Mexico, and these guitars are phenomenal. Unbelievable. If you can find an early Tex-Mex Fender Stratocaster, you're going to be buying the equivalent of a thousand dollar Fender Stratocaster today. These guitars are hands down fantastic. I love mine, and here's how it sounds. I mean, it's just good stuff. Real good stuff. When you, when, when, when you're going to hear me play electric guitar, you're primarily going to hear the Fender Strat. Yeah, I love it. And I'll also be playing it through this Fender Mustang. This little Mustang here. This is a, a newer amplifier. It's a solid state, but it is just fantastic. It's got so many different options as far as... Um, you know, different um, effects and whatnot that you can get out of it. Moving on with the stringed instruments. Yep. Joe's Cigar Box Guitars. I love my cigar box guitars. These are all hand built by me, and um, they're just wonderful instruments. This one's electrified, it's got a um, built in equalizer, volume control. It's a great guitar. Um, I've had a lot of fun with the cigar box guitars. 
building them, playing them. It's been a wonderful, wonderful journey. So you you're gonna hear this included in a lot of my a lot of my adventures and a lot of my tracks just because I just I just love it. Here's another one. This is a beauty. The punch. This is a great, great electric cigar box. This has just got su such a sweet, low overtone. Um, here's an example of it right here. This song here is called Badlands. And man, oh man, it's just uh, such a deep, deep, pure, beautiful sound. And the way this pickup works, man, for a cigar box, Come on, this thing is just fantastic. Anyhow, let's move, let's move out of uh, the stringed instruments and let's talk about some of the percussive um, instruments that I use as far as percussion goes. And those would, let's start out with the rattles in the fine percussion, okay? Now, when my folks went on vacation, they used to buy me t-shirts or a sweatshirt or a ball cap or something from Aruba. I said, folks, stop. I don't want a t-shirt. I said, do me a favor. I said, grab me an instrument from the island you're on or grab me an instrument from the country you're in. Even if it's the cheapest flute you can find, whatever it is, I would rather have an instrument than a t-shirt. Well, isn't it interesting that um, that's what they started to do and they really had as much fun finding instruments as I did receiving them. So anyhow, when you hear um, in some of my videos, you'll hear almost like a rattlesnake sound, especially with the Native American flutes. Those are... Rattles like this, you know, and they're all a little different. This one here is um, this one here is from Aruba. They all have a different sound. Yeah. So that's really neat. These are, they're, um, they're maracas. And they're great. I love the sound that they make. And it's, it's just, a, it's kind of, a, it's a neat highlight, you know, as a background. It just adds a mysterious sound if you, if you use them properly. Um, some of the ones that I've made, let me share that with you. Here's one that I made out of a buffalo horn. Okay? And I capped it on either end with southern yellow pine. And I pinned it really cool. I used brass nails to set the, set the horn into the wood. But it's got a... Something about that sound of the, the horn with, these are actually BBs in here, um, copperheads, to be honest with you. <laughs> Crossman copperhead BBs. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really nice rattle. Buffalo horn. Um, this is interesting here. This is a horse rib. Okay, this is a rib from a horse. All right, and these are 48 dried out beer hooves. Okay, I took and I cored them out and dried the, dried the uh, actual hoof itself. And that's what you get.
Very interesting sound. Very classic Native American instrument right here. Deer toe rattle. Um, moving on with the percussion. This is a beautiful, beautiful hand drum that is made from a gentleman in the um, Dakotas. And this is made actually from whitetail skin from the Northeast because they prefer the whitetail skin is a little bit thinner than what they have in the Dakotas, what would be blacktail or mule deer. So this is just a beautiful drum that he made me. So you'll be hearing that in some of my Native American videos or, or my, my recordings when I use my Native American flute. Um, here's another drum that I use. This is an African djembe. It's a small djembe drum. And this is fantastic. Some friends of mine gave this to me years ago as a, as a Christmas present. And I just, I think it was the best gift that I got that Christmas. But anywho. Yeah. Deep, awesome sound. I love it. It just brings out the, it, it brings out creativity in, in me that I, I just can't contain. I can't contain, I gotta express it, you know? Here's another really cool drum. I don't know how many of you folks have seen a djembe, or not a djembe, an udu. This is an udu drum. And these are Middle Eastern drums. Um, it's actually derived from a water container, a water vessel that they would carry water from. And they turned it into a percussive instrument that's a drum and it's called an udu you got a hole in the top and you got a hole in the side and the way it's played is Very interesting instrument. It's got a very interesting sound to it. It's neat. It's called an udu, and it's a ceramic drum. Very cool. And I've I've been using that in some of my clips. So. Um, the other things that I have been uh, also including that I've been kind of highlighting too is my Native American flutes. Let me show you those. All right. Okay. So my my larger flutes that I play, they're they're made by a company called Stellar, and you can order these online. These are beautiful, beautiful. Um, cedar flutes, red cedar flutes, and they're fairly easy to play, um, fairly easy to learn how to play. The emotion that you put into it is what you get out of them, you know, so you, you, you're familiar with this in my, in my videos. I've got right down to smaller ones, little tiny ones like this. These are so cool. Right down to this little teeny tiny bugger. I just love them.
so cool. So yeah, between the stringed instruments, the percussive instruments, and the wind instruments, um, I'm really enjoying this. I don't know what's gonna be next. But I do have, uh, I do have something on the horizon. I've got a couple of really cool instruments that are on their way in the mail. They're stringed instruments and they're gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a really nice addition to, um, to the musical family, to the, um, how should I say, it's almost to the band, you know, to the musical efforts, you know, in my recording. Like I said, folks, I'm having a lot of fun with this, making my own music for my own videos, you know, and uh, it's a lot of fun. And, and again, I can't thank you enough for the support. You folks have just been wonderful, you know, digging the music. And that just makes me want to produce more, you know. Um, I'm on a mission for some great footage that's going to be coming out soon, and I'm really looking forward to putting my own music to it, too. So, as long as you folks are enjoying, I'm enjoying doing it. And with that being said, I just got to mention here at the end of the video that I'm coming up on 3,000 subscribers. It's kind of funny. I, I'm 50 subscribers short of 3,000, and I can't tell you how long I've been 50 subscribers short of 3,000. So, with that being said, if you like what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, and uh, yeah, climb aboard. Check it out. I've got a lot of great video to come. I'm looking forward to shooting a lot of great video. Thank you so much for watching, folks, and thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Lots of good stuff to come. Thanks for watching my video.